My name's Cy King, I'm from, um, I'm one of the hairy bikers, as I hope you know. Um, I, I still live in the North East, and I'm incredibly proud to be uh, helping promote a new initiative by Northumberland County Council, which is called Produced in Northumberland. And all of this is what we do, quite apart from the meat products and the organic vegetables, and, and it's about time that people knew about it. And shout about our artisan producers, because you know what? You're flipping marvellous. I'm Martin Charlton, welcome to the Old Boathouse Amble, our award-winning fish restaurant, which is part of Produced in Northumberland. We use as many local producers as we can. These people are incredibly hard-working and dedicated people who, during their daily business, produce and develop really high-quality food and drink items that we purchase and bring into the Old Boathouse. Our customers benefit from our local suppliers by receiving food that's far, far fresher. They can see the boats coming in through the river mouth. And quite often we we'll tell the customers this and they're quite happy to wait. Well, wouldn't you? We've got these amazing kippers, swallowed from sea houses. I mean, it really doesn't get much better than this. If you warm them through, take the bones out, and then we're gonna make a nice cheer batter sandwich with poached eggs. So we're gonna ba uh, bang these in the oven just to warm those through. Hello, my name is Patrick Wilkin. I own Swallow Fish at Sea Houses. We do all traditional smoked salmon and kippers and smoked haddock and fresh local crab. So Patrick, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Good Been a while. Yeah. <laughs> Bet you didn't know how many of your products we use down at the old boathouse and around there. How long have you been here? Yeah, since I was 20, 25 years old. So was that the only smokehouse here though at the time? Yeah, at the time, yeah, yeah. But there was smokehouses all the way down the street, you know, back in the day when the Heron fleets was coming in and yeah, it was a, a booming place at one time. Right? It's amazing, isn't it? We've just been in and we've seen you sort of bringing some salmon down. So how long has that particular smokehouse been in use? Well, they say it's been in production since about, well, they're saying 1843. Same uh, the street just up from here on Taylor Street there was a man who used to salt all his heron in the wooden sheds and went on fire one night and tried to salvage his fish out and that's where the first right? start of the smoke a man called John Mudger that's fantastic, uh, that's and that's where they say the kipper was invented. So not just sort of the best smoke around a local historian as well I love it to get the message out there that you're here providing this incredible historical produce that there's no none better anywhere in the country arguably yeah. is really important to us isn't it yeah it is yeah you know they can come and they can see where the kipper has been smoked you know they can see the kipper has been smoked you know that know that they're going to get their kippers the next day for the breakfast so it's literally 100 meters if that yeah. if that from from the boat up the bank in, in your boilers yeah and then sold from here yeah. i mean that's incredible we're going to do a poached egg Boiling water, a little bit of vinegar, get that centrifugal force going. Now I'm under pressure here because, uh, and then while it's still spinning around, we're gonna pop an egg in. Now, the, the importance is the quality and the freshness of the eggs. And again, if you look at this egg, you'll see how the, the white has really stayed together and just sort of help the process along by just flicking a little bit warm water on it. Hot water. Let that sit there for a couple of minutes and that will finish poaching in the, uh, 
the heat of the liquid there. Okay, so alongside some of the incredible fish dishes we're going to be cooking today, we're going to make some uh, simple bread using Gilchester's flour. One of my favourites is for catch and chia batter, and it is so easy to make. Uh, got everything weighed out here. Um, we're just going to use our uh, amazingly big dough mixer for the amount of flour we're going to make. But just literally bung it all in. So we've got yeast, um, olive oil, water, a blend of semolina and uh, strong white flour. Had it all measured out so it's a bit easier. Pop that in. And then hit the start button. You can do that by hand if you want to, but <laughs> I prefer using the machine. That's that nice uh, focaccia with the thyme and the sea salt on. There's another one. That, uh, the flavour of this uh, rare breed wheat is amazing. The, you've got the bones in there that you've got to take out. Take these bones out. Again, like I was saying before, use your fingers to feel. Now what we've got with this is we've got a, a poached egg that we're going to put on with there. And... That's our kipper sandwich with horseradish cream. There's so many benefits that our customers experience. We can actually see where it comes from. They can see the boats that deliver, they can see those boats coming through the river mouth and unloading on the harbour wall. And meet the characters who go out very, very early in the morning. Steph, he had a sleep in, he went out at four o'clock this morning. <laughs>